If you do Facebook ad campaigns on Facebook, one of the biggest challenges that just about every Facebook ad marketer is facing is that uh, usually you are spending a lot of dollars every single minute, but you cannot basically track the spending entire day by logging into your Facebook account again and again. Now, in my case, what I have done is I spend a lot of money on Facebook ad campaigns. And what I have done is I have created this data studio report. What this data studio reports does is it pulls the data of the ad spent every one hour in this case, but just in case, if you want to do that, you can basically do it every five minute, every 15 minute, it is all up to you. And it keeps on refreshing and updating the data in this Google data studio sheet itself. So this way, what people can do is they have an updated data of how much ad spent is done every single hour and they can share this data studio sheet with their agency who is doing the marketing. They can share it with their uh, couple of team members who can actually keep the track of how much ad is spent every single hour. The interesting thing is this data studio sheet is created uh, from the data that is pulled in from our Google Sheets. So I actually have a Google sheet for this data studio report as well. And it actually contains all the data and based on that data that this data studio sheet has been created. So this video basically is created to show you how you can create a data studio sheet just like this, right? Now this video involves two different steps. First, how you can fetch the data from this Facebook ad campaign account and how you can send the data to Google sheet. And the next part of this video will be showing how you can create data studio sheet, uh, data studio report from Google sheet, right? So we will be covering both the steps one by one. So I have spent $412.47 on the 2nd of November, 2022 until 729 AM. Now I will be showing you how you can send the ad spent data to this Google sheet. I have already created a Google sheet. You can see the date and time. You can see the ad spent. You can see the clicks. You can see the CTR. You can see the impressions, right? Even though it shows date and time, we will just be adding date here. And what we will be doing is every 15 minutes, we will be running a scheduled trigger, which will keep on checking and going to Facebook and pulling in the data, uh, pulling out the data from your Facebook business manager directly, and it will keep on updating the data right here. In fact, not updating, it will keep on adding new rows for the new data that is coming in every 15 minutes, right? So let me show you how it is done. The first step involves you to going to Pabli Connect. Now Pabli Connect is an integration software that helps you to bind two different applications together. In this case, we are binding your Facebook ads manager with Google Sheets. So that way, whatever update is happening in Facebook ads manager will be automatically updated in Google sheet, right? Uh, to get Pabli connect, you actually have to go to the website pabli.com and you can basically get a plan for Pabli connect. This is the product that I'm talking about. You can get a plan for this specific product. We offer both one time offer as well as a recurring plan, depending upon what needs you have, you can purchase a relevant plan. We also offer a free task account. So basically whatever automation I am teaching you here, you can always test it out yourself at your end before even making a purchase. Now, now I have got to pabli.com slash connect and all you have to do is just do a sign up free if you are not already registered. Otherwise just sign into your account and signing to your account will take you to a dashboard. And from that dashboard, you can just click on pabli connect access now, which will essentially take you to this page, right? Now the first step will be involving you to create a workflow. Now I am creating this workflow for Facebook ads insight video demo. So this is my video demo set. It, so that is why I'm creating a workflow by this name. I just press the create button. Now my, there are two steps in this workflow. First step is the trigger. The second step is the action trigger shows what essentially will start this workflow, right? So I want to start this workflow on a basis of a schedule and the schedule is pretty much already set. How often you want to run your workflow at regular intervals every 15. So 15 is enter the value in minutes or hours or days when the workflow should be executed. So I said every 15 and the time span is minutes. So basically I want to do pretty much the same thing. I want to 
schedule and run this workflow every 15 minutes. So I will just press on save. Clicking on save basically shows you the data and it shows that uh, when whenever the response is received, it means the workflow trigger is now set up, right? So schedule is now set up. It will keep on checking every 15 minutes. Now, which application I have to pick? Now I have to pick Facebook ads insight application. So just click on Facebook ads insight application right here. Now this is an action step, which means what we are essentially doing is we are picking the data, we are pulling in the data from Facebook Ad Insight. Now there are multiple action events that you can choose from. Now get Ad Account Insights with Date Preset, get Ad Account Insight with Time Range, get Ad Object Insight with Date Preset, get Ad Object Insight with Date uh, Time Range and you can basically see all the different possibilities that are there by checking the description written in each one of them. Uh, these two are deprecated, which means they are not available now and the much more advanced versions are not now available for the very same action step. So in my case, what I will be doing is I will be just choosing this one, which says get ad account insight with date presets. Just click on connect. And as soon as you do the connection thing, you will see I have, a sh you actually have to figure out three fields. First is the ad account ID, enter your Facebook ad account ID. For example, this one, visit your Facebook business account and get the ad account IDs from the top right drop down area, right? Second is the date preset that you have to use today, yesterday, this month and whatever it is. And third is the access token on how you can create an access token at your end. Now, first thing is ad account ID. So we have to figure out the ad account ID. So in that case, what I will do is I will just go to business.facebook.com slash ads manager. If you see right here, this is your ad account ID and this is 8839. Let me just write, type it in the URL box above. So 8839124156117511. Okay. So I just copied this ad account ID and I'm just pasting this ad account ID right here. Now it is asking her for the date preset, which means which specific data you want to pull out. So I want to pull out the data for today. And let me just show you, tell you one more thing. My ad account is set up on the basis of an Indian time zone, right? So India time zone is usually UTC plus 530, which essentially means we are five hours, 30 minutes ahead of UTC. And when I say today, it keeps the timing and I am currently in India, it is 7.35 a.m. here. So in my case, it picks the timing from 12 midnight until the 12 of next day, right? So this is the date preset uh, that I want to fetch the data for today. Now, just imagine every 15 minutes, this trigger is going to run. And what it will essentially do is it will give you, it will keep you giving out the data for today. And the today data is going to be up updated every 15 minutes, depending upon whenever the ad spent is going to happen. Right. And it keeps on happening because in my case, I have scheduled that I want to spend $2,000 in an, in a day. So it keeps on uh, increasing the amount every 15 minute. Right. And the third thing is access token. Now access token is something which takes couple of steps and I have actually done a separate video on how you can uh, capture and get the access token. We also have a written guide right here. Even clicking on this link will take you to this guide. And it shows you the way in which you can create an access token. So the step involves going to developers.facebook.com and you can just create an app uh, just like shown on the screenshot. Just click on, then you have to go to business page, create a system user, just assign the permission for an ad account to that system user. Apart from that, also assigning the permission to the app, just select the app name. Uh, give relevant permissions to the app, click on generate token and your token will be generated right here. So you can see the token is something like this. And this is the token that will be generated if you follow the same steps. If you are having any trouble in getting the access token, you can also watch the video on written on the very same guide, which is forum.pabli.com slash thread slash Facebook dash ads dash inside dot two two one nine. So even if you watch this uh, if you see this video or go over to this link and watch this video or read the instruction, you will be able to get the access token for running this uh, specific uh, 
and getting this X specific token, right? In my case, I have already have a token. So I will just copy this token. I will go back to this page and I will paste this token right here, right? So in my case, all three things are done. The add account is done. The date preset is done and the access token is now added. Now what I will do is I will just simply click on save and send test request and that will actually uh, give me all the relevant data for this specific minute at seven minutes and 37 seconds. So I just pressed on save and send test request and you can see all the data is right here. This is the data account ID, right? This is the Facebook pixel. I actually entered the value that if someone is initiating a checkout, this is uh, the relevant value that the product has, account name, the amount of money that I have spent till now. So it shows $424.65. So if I go back here, earlier it was 412. I will just refresh this page and you can see $424.65 and you can see the very same data is right here. You can also see how much clicks are there on the ad and you can see cost per unique click, cost per inline link click, the what is the CPC, what is the CPM, what is the CPP, what is the current CTR, what is the impression. What is the frequency? Now, some people, depending upon what data you need on your data studio, you can pick different kind of data. In my case, I'm just picking ad spend, click CTR and impressions. But on your case, you might be very, you might be tracking impressions quite aggressively. So you can pick impressions in that case. So depending upon your needs, you actually have access to just about every single data right here. So depending upon your need, you can pick whatever data you need. And based on that, you can run your automations, right? So because I already got the data and this data will keep on, will be fetched every 15 minutes through the trigger, through a scheduled trigger. What I'm now doing is I am adding this data to my Google Sheets, which is already created that I showed you just few moments back, right? So my sheet name is Facebook ad spent for demo video, right? So I will choose an app name as Google Sheet. Action event will be add new row because we want to add a new row. And I will be clicking on add new connection. Then I will click on connect with Google Sheet. I will choose my relevant email account on which the sheet is created. Actually, this will ask me to tap and verify my account on my mobile. I just verified it. It is asking us for some permission. So I will just click on continue. The authorization is successful. And you can see it pulled different spreadsheets in my account. In my case, I will be concerned about this Facebook ad spent for demo video spreadsheet. It will auto select the sheet in this spreadsheet, which happens to be sheet one. So you can see this is sheet one and these are the one, two, three, four, five, five columns that it actually brought in. And you can see the same five columns here. One, two, three, four, five are also right here. So now what I will do is I will just start mapping this values from the values that I got just on the upper side of this app, right? So all the response in the response, I actually have all the data right here. So what I will do is I will start mapping, right? So first thing is data, in fact, date. So in this case, if I search for date, Facebook ad inside actually pulled out the date, which shows data date stop. Now there is an start date and there is an stop date. Interesting thing about Facebook ad inside data is it pulls the data right from the start of the date to the end of the current time. So in my case, I just want to pick the stop date right? So that means it is giving me the final date of today. And then add is spent. So add is spent. Let me see. Is spent. So it shows res to data is spent, which is 424.65. So what you can do is you can just map this add is spent data. Then it shows the clicks. So I will just add the data clicks, which happens to be one triple nine. So these are the number of clicks that I received by spending this money. Then the CTR, 
and you can see there are multiple CTR. One is data CTR, one is inline link click CTR. This is outbound clicks CTR. This shows outbound clicks and this is website CTR link click, right? So depending upon whatever data you want to get, you can just map it relevantly. In my case, I'm just plugging in the regular CTR and then I am searching for impressions and you can see RES2 data impressions. So these are the number of impressions that I received by spending this level of money. So now once everything looks good to you, just see this sheet right here. The sheet is empty, just has the headers in it. Now I will just click on save and send test request. And you can see that as soon as I clicked on save and send test request, the data is right here. It shows the current date. It shows the ad spent. It shows the number of clicks. It shows the CTR and it shows the impressions, right? Now, the interesting thing is after 15 minutes, this workflow is going to run again. And at the time of running again, it will again go to step two, which will be Facebook ad insight. It will again pull the data and the data will be updated. And depending upon that updated data, the Google sheet will be updated, right? So this will keep on updating. And the interesting thing is that this date will remain same for the current date. The ad spend will keep on increasing. The clicks will keep on increasing. The CTR might go up and down and the impression will keep on increasing, right? Now, the interesting thing is, which I will actually tell you in a separate video on how to create a Google Data Studio report. Um, I will also include the link of that, how to generate a Google Data Studio report uh, from this Facebook ad spend data. And I will be showing you and I will be adding the link of that video in the description of this video. So that way you can create an, a data studio report at your end as well. But the interesting thing is what I will do while creating a data studio report is I will pick the maximum value of ad spend for that particular day, right? So if you see right here uh, on November 1st, 2022, the total ad spend was 1334.37. And the reason it was 1334.37 was because what I did is I already had a sheet which had all the data for that specific date. And at the time of setting up this Google Data Studio report, what I did is I made sure that I picked the maximum value for that specific date to create this report. So let me try to show you that, uh, that sheet itself. So that way you, it will give you much more idea on what I'm talking about. So this is my Facebook ad spend sheet that I created earlier. And it actually comes and shows the relevant and real data in real time. It all, it only has two column date and ad spend. So what it does is if you go down there, down below, It keeps on adding the data right here, right? So on the 1st of November, 2022, my highest ad spent was 1334.37. And every fifth, in fact, this workflow was every one hour. So every one hour, this rows were getting added right here. And the final row for that specific day was 1334.37. This was the maximum value out there. Now, if you see the sheet right here, it actually shows the maximum value, which is 1334.37 for that specific day. So what I will relevantly do is I will just keep on creating this data studio report by fetching the maximum value for that specific day. And that will actually create my data studio report that anyone can track just about every other minute. And just to finish this video, um, there's one more thing I want to tell. The public connect workflow that I set up to run every 15 minute, you can basically reduce this value to every one minute as well. You can even increase the value to one hour, depending upon how frequently you want the data to be checked. You can basically do it and you can, uh, of course, do the very same process in the way you want to do, right? So again, thank you for checking out this video. This video shows how you can get the data from Facebook ad insight and send it to Google sheet. In the next video, I will be sent, I will be telling you how you can get the data from Google Sheets and create the Google Data Studio report out of it. So let me know how did you like this video. 